Welcome to Microbiology classes. In this uh, class, I will explain uh, about prokaryotic cell and eukaryotic cell. Based on the cell structure, uh, the cells are classified into prokaryotic cell and eukaryotic cell. Prokaryotic cells Prokaryotic cells, from the name itself, it is uh, noted that it is a primitive type of cell. A cell without nucleus. That is prokaryotic cell. A primitive cell without nucleus. Eukaryotic cell, it is a cell, an advanced cell with uh, nucleus. So that is a major difference between a prokaryotic cell and eukaryotic cell. A prokaryotic cell has no nucleus. A eukaryotic cell has got a nucleus. Prokaryotic cells examples are bacteria. The common type of uh, prokaryotic cell which you can see is bacteria. Another example is blue-green algae or cyanobacteria. Another name is cyanobacteria or blue-green algae. They are the two examples of uh, prokaryotic cells. Eukaryotic cells, uh, there are lot of eukaryotic cells, amoeba, that is protozoans are eukaryotic cells, helminths are eukaryotic cells, uh, fungus, fungi, they are having a eukaryotic cell, other animals and plants, they are also having eukaryotic cell, even human cell is a eukaryotic cell. There are lot of differences between a prokaryotic cell and a eukaryotic cell. One major difference is the presence of uh, nucleus in eukaryotic cell, absence of nucleus in uh, um, prokaryotic cell. In a prokaryotic cell, you will not be able to see a uh, nucleolus, nuclear membrane, that type of structures will not be present. You can see a nucleoid area. The major difference between a prokaryotic cell and a eukaryotic cell is uh, presence and absence of uh, Nucleus. Nucleus is present in a eukaryotic cell. It is absent in prokaryotic cell. Apart from this, if you see a prokaryotic cell, uh, you can see a nucleoid area where you can see a single chromosome. A single circular chromosome can be seen. Um, <clears throat> and there is no nucleus, no nucleolus, no nuclear membrane. Okay, That type of structures are absent. And when you come to the uh, cytoplasm of prokaryotes, you will not be able to see any uh, organelles, cell organelles like a lysosome, Golgi apparatus, mitochondria, okay, endoplasmic reticulum. That type of cell organelles will be absent in uh, prokaryotes. Those cell organelles will be present in uh, eukaryotic cells. Okay. So these are the major differences between a prokaryotic cell and a eukaryotic cell. Then ribosomes, which are the site for protein synthesis, is present in both prokaryotes and eukaryotes. But the difference is in the size. Prokaryotic ribosomes are smaller in size. Normally, there is a unit called Swedberg unit uh, to measure the size of the ribosome. It is only 70s in the case of prokaryotes. In the case of eukaryotes, it is 80s. So size is bigger in eukaryotic cells. And uh, when you see the other uh, chemical nature and other thing, uh, the prokaryotic cells are having simple chemical compounds. Uh, uh, in the case of eukaryotic cells, you can see a complicated uh, sterols will be present. Normally, sterols are absent in uh, uh, prokaryotes. It will be present in uh, eukaryotes. So it is a more advanced form of cells. Eukaryotic cells are more advanced form of cells. Okay. So these are the uh, differences. And uh, you should know how to draw a prokaryotic cell, that is a bacterial cell, I go example is bacterial cell and a eukaryotic cell. Eukaryotic cell, sometimes you can see an animal cell and a plant cell, that is a major difference, different two types of uh, uh, eukaryotic cells, animal cell and a plant cell. The plant cell, uh, the major difference between an animal cell and plant cell is presence of uh, cell wall, okay, cell wall. So that's about uh, prokaryotic cell and eukaryotic cell. Now after this my uh, talk, 
there will be a video will be following on a, a graphical representation of a prokaryotic cell and eukaryotic cell and explanation is following you read uh, about uh, these uh, topics prokaryotic cell and a eukaryotic cell for examination they may ask uh, as a two mass question uh, what are the differences between prokaryotic cell and a eukaryotic cell then mcqs can be asked multiple choice questions can be asked similarly sometimes short notes on uh, five marks uh, <coughs> Uh, they may ask you to explain the what are the different uh, differences between a prokaryotic cell and a eukaryotic cell okay so after this there will be a video you listen to that video and uh, study about uh, the differences between prokaryotic cell and eukaryotic cell thank you on earth there are two major types of cells prokaryotic and eukaryotic. Prokaryotic cells are the simplest and most ancient types of cells. They were the only form of life on earth for billions of years before eventually giving rise to eukaryotic cells. If you take a look at prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells side by side, you can see a number of differences. To begin with, prokaryotic cells are a lot smaller than eukaryotic cells and have a simpler structure. But bear in mind that this simple structure is actually a good thing for prokaryotes because it allows them to reproduce very quickly and very effectively. If you were to look inside a prokaryotic cell, you would probably be surprised at how simple it is. For example, prokaryotic cells lack a nucleus. In fact, the name prokaryote actually gives you a hint about its structure. Kary means kernel or nucleus and pro means before. So basically the word prokaryote means before nucleus. The inside of the prokaryotic cell is basically an open unit with no compartments. There are no membrane bound organelles. However, small structures called ribosomes are scattered throughout its cytoplasm. The cell's DNA is located in a region of the cytoplasm called the nucleoid region. The nucleoid region is not the same thing as a nucleus because it's not enclosed by a membrane. Prokaryotes also have a cell wall that surrounds the plasma membrane. The composition of the cell wall depends on whether the cell is an archaean or a bacteria, but basically it consists of complex polysaccharides. Prokaryotes also often possess one or more flagella, which are used for movement. In contrast, eukaryotic cells contain a membrane-bound nucleus and other membrane-bound organelles. The name eukaryote also gives a hint about its structure. Eu means true. And remember that kary means nucleus. So in essence, the word eukaryote means true nucleus. Eukaryotic cells are larger and much more complicated than prokaryotic cells. However, they do share a few things in common with prokaryotes. Let's take a look at a Venn diagram to compare prokaryotes to eukaryotes and to also see what areas they have in common. Let's start with their commonalities. Both prokaryotes and eukaryotes have DNA as their genetic material, have ribosomes, have cytoplasm, and have a plasma membrane. Now let's look at some of the ways they differ. Prokaryotic cells are the oldest type of cell. They're small and relatively simple. Eukaryotic cells evolved from prokaryotic cells later they're larger and much more complex internally. Prokaryotes lack both a nucleus and membrane-bound organelles. Eukaryotic cells have a nucleus and also contain organelles. Prokaryotes are single-celled organisms. Eukaryotes can be either single-celled or multicellular. And finally, the DNA of a prokaryote is usually organized as a single circular chromosome while the DNA of a eukaryote is organized as linear chromosomes.